All right, we're going to be talking about something that always makes baseball exciting. The trade deadline day with the deadline day 30, like 30 days away, 31 days away. Basically, it's July 31st. And since MLB rid of the August waivers deals or whatever it was called, there's only one deadline day this season. And it's becoming crunch time for teams to really make moves to help with their playoff contention. So with that being said, today we're going to be talking about 10 players who could potentially be moved at this year's deadline. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know if you guys agreed with me or did you disagree with me or some names you guys think won't be traded. Some names will be traded. Were there names that I didn't mention that you guys think will be traded? Let me know down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscription button if you enjoy baseball content. And the best way for me to know that you guys enjoyed today's video is to hit that like button. So the first player we're going to be talking about today is Corey Dickerson, the Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder, a player that the Pirates have already said they'll be looking to deal at the deadline day. With that being said, he's just come back from injury and he's only played 22 games this season, but he's swinging a pretty hot bat. 311 average with a 368 on base percentage and a 474 slugging percentage with two home runs and 15 RBIs. Definitely think he could be a good bench bat or even a starting outfielder for a couple teams who are pushing for that playoff spot. A team I think like that just immediately comes to mind are the Phillies who just recently lost Andrew McCutcheon through an ACL injury or even the Indians who are starting to get hot again and pushing for a wild card spot. Center field, they've been using Oscar Mercado, but the left fielder spot in Jordan Leplo, I definitely think Corey Dickerson could be a little bit better of a, a bat than Jordan Leplo, and he could be a good acquisition for the Indians. The next player we're going to be talking about is, again, a Pittsburgh Pirate. This time it's Felipe Vasquez, the lefty flamethrower. He's got some velocity behind his fastball, good off speed, and this season he's 19 of 20 for save opportunities with a 1.8 ERA and a 1.02 whip. Very consistent bullpen arm, and there are a lot of teams who are always in need of bullpen help, and especially a lefty arm. Teams that come to mind, the Cubs and the Dodgers. Dodgers are heavily looking for a lefty bullpen arm, being linked to Vasquez and a couple other players, one of which will be in today's video, but I definitely could see the Cubs, Dodgers, you know, Braves, Phillies pushing for some bullpen help. Sticking with the theme of bullpen help, we're looking at Alex Colomay, the White Sox reliever, having a very solid season as well with a 2.25 ERA, and a whip at 0.68, literally lights out. Got a good pitch variety and has been a very consistent arm for the White Sox this season. The White Sox are, I think, sellers at the deadline, even though they, they aren't too far off in the wild card spot, but I definitely could see them getting something pretty decent for Colome with the way he's performing this year. Again, I think a team like the Braves and the Phillies who are pushing for a wild card spot, or even that first place in the East, they definitely could use that bullpen help. Another closer this time, Ken Giles. He's 12 of 13 for save opportunities. He's got a 1.29 ERA and a whip at 1.03. He's been very consistent this season. He's been lights out for the Toronto Blue Jays, who are 100% going to be sellers at this year's deadline. The thing is, last couple seasons, he's been a little inconsistent. So I still think that the Blue Jays should get a decent return for him. A team I think could be interested are the St. Louis Cardinals, just because they've lost Jordan Hicks due to Tommy John. And there's also a couple other teams, the Braves and the Phillies. Again, they need bullpen help. This could be a player that they could get for probably not too much. Another team that's going to be selling at the deadline, the Detroit Tigers. And this player, Nicholas Castellanos, I definitely think will be on the move. A very solid bat to have for any team. And a thing that's kind of intriguing is he definitely can play third, his primary position before he moved to the outfield. So a couple teams that really could use this batting average that usually sits in the high 200s with a high slugging percentage and a good on-base percentage. He's got some power. Are the Brewers, who could use a third baseman now that they've sent Travis Shaw down to uh, AAA, or even the Phillies, who Michael Franco just really hasn't done anything at the plate this year. So those two teams, I definitely could see making a push for Castellanos. Or another team, maybe the Indians, like I said, they're kind of using Jordan Luplo in left field. They do have Nate Gwynn in right and Mercado in center. But again, who knows? I think Castellanos could definitely help out any team making a playoff push. We're back to the Chicago White Sox, who I did mention. I think they're going to be sellers. And this is a player who I think is least likely to leave. But if he does, the White Sox could definitely get a pretty penny for him. A player who always posts consistent batting average, usually a high on base percentage, and a good slugging percentage in Jose Abreu. The first baseman could definitely help out a playoff team with his bat with his power and I think a team that could use him are the Houston Astros. I know they have Yuli Gurriel, but he's more of a contact guy and Jose Abreu could definitely help with some pop off the bat. 
I mean, it's a crazy long shot. I know the White Sox have mentioned that they really don't want to trade him, but I think they could trade him and in free agency definitely bring him back. So I think like a, a team like the Astros could really use Jose Abreu. Next, we're going to talk about Marcus Stroman, a player who before the season, I didn't really think too highly of. I thought he was really overrated, but he's really starting to show he could be a very solid starting pitcher, posting a low three ERA and a whip at 1.2, his best season since like 2016. So it's been a couple seasons since then, but he's really starting to show his ability. I think a change of scenery would really help him out. And a couple teams I think could be interested are the brewers and the twins but the most recent rumors i've seen are the astros and the yankees i could definitely see the yankees making a push for him especially since hearing that severino's most likely out till august maybe even a little bit later i think that stroman could really help out their starting rotation Alrighty, this time we're looking at San Francisco Giants closer Will Smith. The lefty has been lights out this year, posting a 2.16 ERA, a .81 WHIP, and he's 21 of 21 for save opportunities. So this guy, yes, he's a lefty and he's a bullpen arm who's been lights out. This is definitely a player a lot of playoff teams are going to be looking at. I've heard the Dodgers are highly rumored to be interested, um, the Twins, maybe even the Cubs. And the Red Sox. So there's this, this guy is probably the number one sought after bullpen arm this trade period. And I think the the Giants would be just like dumb not to trade him and get something in return. Another player who I think could definitely be traded is Anthony Rendon. The Washington Nationals I know have been on a pretty good streak as of late, but I think their pitching are really going to let them down towards the end of the year. And I think right now they should be in a little bit of a sell mode with Anthony Rendon's contract running up soon. A player who hits around 300 almost every year. 20 plus home runs, a good amount of RBIs, a good on base percentage, slugging and OPS. I think the Nationals would be dumb not to trade him, get something in return. And when his contract expires, they could definitely bring him back if need be. But right now, there are some teams who need their third baseman. The Brewers just optioned down Travis Shaw. They can move Mustakas back to third. Rendon has played second in the past. I think that could be a possibility. Even the Phillies could be a possibility as well, looking for a third baseman. Um, if we're talking about second baseman, maybe even the Cubs, they definitely need a hitting third baseman, and Anthony Rendon would fit that possibility. Alrighty, the last player is Madison Bumgarner, a player who's who's been rumored to be traded like every year for the last three years, and this year is probably his worst year yet. The Giants, I think, have held on to him way too long, mostly because they've been asking for the entire kitchen sink when they want to trade him. So this season, I think, is unfortunately the year that they're just going to have to sell low and just kind of accept whatever they can get for him. You know, he has a 4-2-1 ERA. His whips solid at 1.22 compared to last year, but that's still not the Madison Bumgarner we know. He's struggling with wins. Just something seems off about him. I know a lot of teams are still be interested with him just because he does have that reputation for being a competitor and being a solid starter. Maybe it's time for a change of scenery. A team like the Twins, um, the Yankees probably won't go for him, but they have been rumored to him. Maybe even the Brewers who are in need of starting pitching could go after him. But again, the Giants have been asking for a lot, so who really knows what's going to happen? All righty, guys, that's going to bring today's video to an end. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button down below. Obviously, there are so many players who could be traded this deadline period. I think this is going to be a very, very hectic trade deadline window. I think because there's no August trades this year, I think a lot of teams are going to be looking to make moves. I think a lot of teams are going to be selling. I think a lot of teams are going to be buying. And with how close the wild card is, I definitely think a lot of teams are going to be trying to make moves that are really going to help them with that playoff push. Teams I think that are going to be selling are the Mariners. And I think there are some players there who could really help out those playoffs teams. Mitch Hanniger, D Gordon, you know, there's really some good players on that team that could help out. And, um, there's some other names who I didn't mention. Howie Kendrick's a good second baseman that could help off the bench for some teams. Maybe even the Cubs who need a second baseman. There's also Chris Orcher, Rizal Iglesias. There's so many names that I left off this list who could definitely be traded at this year's deadline. So let me know who you guys think down below who's going to be traded. Also, guys, did you agree with me? Do you think my opinion's wrong? Let me know in the comment section. I want to hear you guys' thoughts for this deadline day that's really about it guys if you did enjoy today's video make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy baseball content if you guys are new or even if you've been here for a while and you don't have that bell notification icon clicked make sure you go and click it so that you guys are notified for all um, activity on the channel uploads uh, community posts that kind of thing um, and yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll catch you all in the next one peace